Hello. We are we using. Might be accepting the charge from we might be dry. They might be dry. We are using the Frog Otter Education System, and today we are doing E001 Getting the Animals Home. And my special guest is. Animals home? And my special guest is. A monkey! <laughs> okay. Um, the equipment we need for this activity is the world map, the wooden animals, and the book. So if we have a look. And a monkey! <laughs> we have a All look. Child. If we have a look, the book has a picture of this map and it's got some of the animals on it. So let's get the animals out. We'll start with the top one. So we've got to get the polar bear. Oh. Polar we've got to get the polar bear home. The polar no, no, we're just gonna here. we're just gonna put them here to begin with and then we'll move the thing. So we need the polar bear, we need the snail. The, um, we need the duck. Oh, we do need the brown bear. The duck, good. We need the camel. We do need the giraffe. Yep. And the camel. And we need the elephant. And we need the elephant. And we do need the zebra. And we need the alligator. And we need the angel fish. I've got the angel fish. We don't have um, the hippo or the dinosaur or the parrot. So we'll put them to one side because they're not in this game. But dinosaurs are everywhere. Yeah, but they're well, not. Everywhere. But we're not using them in this game. Now, where's the Jurassic Park on this map? The map shows some places where all these animals live. So let's start with the polar bear. Can you put the polar bear on the real map yes. in the same place as the picture of the polar bear is on the picture? Brilliant. Um, now you've covered Asia with the animals, so we'll move them to some other parts first. So can you put the snail where the snail belongs? Is this where the snail belongs? Yeah, I mean snails, as you pointed out before we did the filming, um, snails do live pretty much everywhere, but one of the places they live is North America. And one of the places the duck live is where we live. That's right, there are ducks in the UK. Now the angelfish I put in South America. Can you move the angelfish? That's very good. Um, what about the zebra? Can you see where the zebra okay. is? The zebra is here in Africa. Dirt on it. Can you put the zebra where the zebra belongs? Is it here? Yes, that's good. And what about the giraffe? The giraffe is also in Africa. Good. Can you see where we put the alligator? Can you find that on our map? Oh, that's good. Yes. Are we going to put, put, is this an African elephant? Um, I made that an Indian elephant. So can you put it in India? No. Oh. <laughs> well, there it goes. But where's the camel? The camel goes here. Very good. African camel? Throw Fantastic. So that's it. So now we've got all of the animals. Now it says to talk about where we've put the animals. Well, we talked a bit as we put them in. It that's says cool. which animals are close together. So which animals live near each other in the world? The polar bear and the duck. Well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Both sort of right. Um, we do live quite a long way north, don't we? And polar bears are a very long way north. So they're both north. The zebra and the giraffe actually live close. Together. The zebra and the giraffe are both in Africa, aren't they? And the and the brown bear and the and the elephant are both in India. Wait a moment. Why? No. What's the brown bear doing in India? The brown bear isn't in India. The brown bear's up here in Russia. Hey. And, and the turtle. Wait, no, snail. Is in America as well as the as well as the anglerfish. Now it Turtling. says, okay, take all the animals off the map. And all right, all right, and put the book to one side and see if you can put the animals back where they were. Thank you for joining us. I hope you'll come again.